What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Universal Mastery. Welcome back to my public YouTube channel. If you're new, let me give you a little bit of a perspective on what I do here. What I do here is I break down the occult sciences and I break them down to a very practical degree so that you can simply use them and apply them in your day to day life and get real, actual results with some of the things that I'm teaching here on my public channel simply by applying your observation and awareness. Very easy to do, okay? Once again, if you're new to my YouTube channel, let me give you a little bit of a perspective on who I am just so that you know who you're getting this information from because that is something that is important in regards to psychic self-development, okay? My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist. I am fully initiated in the entirety of the Kabbalistic tree. I'm studied when it comes to the 22 major arcana of the tarot deck. And I'm also studied when it comes to planetary energies in direct association with astrology. Okay, so with all that being said, let's move right on into the topic of this video. So what are we going to be talking about today? So today we're going to be talking about how you should approach working with or invoking or doing rituals with dark entities and or demons, okay? So if you're wanting to gain a little bit more of an understanding for yourself in regards to when it comes to working with demonic forces or dark energy forces, dark entities, then this is definitely going to be a video that you're really going to want to listen into and take advantage of and apply to your awareness, okay? So this is exactly what we're going to be talking about. We're going to go into it. All you have to do is stay tuned, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, so first thing first, I'm going to start with this. I'm going to start with lighting one of the EMF incense sticks, okay? These are my personal incense sticks that I've created myself. Once again, they're called the EMF incense sticks. So if you have your EMF incense sticks and you're listening to this now, now would be a wonderful time to light your stick so you can further link into this content. Always set the intent of increasing your power in any way possible. That's what I do. And I'm not going to put any boundaries on that. However, that needs to become manifest. There we go. Wonderful. Okay, so those are the EMF incense sticks. Once again, these are my incense sticks. They are pre-packaged, pre-charged, very powerful incense. If you'd like to get your hands on a 50-pack bundle, you can purchase them at the fourth link in the YouTube description, okay? So let's move into the topic. So once again, we are here and we are going to be talking about specifically how should you approach working with dark entities? How should you approach working with demons, okay? So there is a generalized belief within traditional occultism that when you are working with a demonic force you have to intone certain things you have to have certain types of metals on your being you have to be standing in a certain direction you have to have certain types of tools you have to know certain names of the entities and you have to oftentimes invoke other types of forces oftentimes angelic forces to properly confine the demonic entity. Um, oftentimes you have to use techniques of binding where you're essentially trying to trap the entity and not giving it any uh, free range of communication, so to speak, unless you're in full control and you're in full uh, charge, so to speak. And to some of you listening to this, some of you are going to think this does not sound this does not sound right. Some of you listening to this have already worked with demonic dark entities. 
and you're thinking, this doesn't sound right. I never had to do any of these things. Matter of fact, I think that a lot of these traditional techniques on working with dark entities are actually counterintuitive and counterproductive. And on one end, that is very true, okay? You do not have to do any of these things that I just mentioned to work with a demonic force or to work with a dark enter to work with a dark entity and get valuable beneficial evolutionary results from working with these forces okay matter of fact once again i would i would fall along the lines of thinking that these types of techniques on working with dark entities would be counterproductive because the point of working with a dark entity is to gain its knowledge wisdom understanding and ultimately power and a large portion of gaining that power is coming from the unconscious and the subconscious mind within the individual who's working with that entity and the more you the more you try to apply techniques and ritualist uh, we could say ritualistic habits that are confining and controlling the more you're not allowing yourself to tap into the unconscious and subconscious of your own mind because it's that portion of your own consciousness that is unknown to you which means it would be counterproductive to try to wish restrain to bind a demon to call on an angelic force so that you can feel like you have the proper confidence to then be able to work with a demonic entity once again, all of these things would be counterproductive to really embracing the totality of your own unconscious and subconscious mind, okay? The unknown within yourself. And that is, what I'm telling you is real. What I'm telling you is true in that sense. None of these things I would recommend you do if you're going to be working and invoking and doing rituals with a dark entity or a demonic force and once again a lot of these things are coming from traditional occultism okay now here's another perspective that I want to make sure that you have when it comes to working with dark entities and when it comes to working with demonic forces okay so just like we can see within traditional mythology or traditional religious structures Typically, you're going to have angelic forces that are on one side, which would be the more so positive side. And then typically, you're going to have demonic forces, darker energies that are more so on the negative side. Okay. You could almost look at it from a sense of one force has a lot to do with creative energies in regards to the multiverse and also promoting creative energy in regards to understanding the source and then the other force the other side is more so dealing with destructive energies which is breaking down realizing the source within the self okay so once again one side is more so when we're looking at the angelic is more so creative promotes creation and structure, order, discipline, and seeing the source in the world around you. And then the other side, being the demonic, the darker energetic side, is more so with destructive energies, breaking down until you see the source within the self through that dark energy. Okay? And both, obviously, both energies are very valuable, and they play their evolutionary role. But there is a difference, and what I'm trying to make clear is that we can, you know, we can clearly see the difference in regards to religious structures, religious traditions, religious beliefs, religious mythologies, stories, you name it. You typically have the angelic forces that are guiding you, helping you understand more about God. Okay, not God as in Yahweh, but God going deeper to its authentic root, which would be the source. The source of all and then you have the demonic forces that are acting as the satan the adversaries the challengers trying to test you 
and essentially challenge you to see if you understand who you truly are and what you're truly here doing. And it's through those same challenges and through those same tests where you really learn how to develop internal power through knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of the challenge itself after having gone through it. Okay? So when it comes to working with demonic forces and dark energies, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, you do not need to and you do not want to apply all these weird traditional techniques of binding, constraining, invoking angels to then force or invoking Jesus or God itself to force the, the, the demonic entity to respond to you in a way that you want to be responded to. Rather, you're going to want to authentically be working with these forces. You're going to want to approach these forces with an open mind, with your own feminine energetic aspect of your being, being ultimately receptive to what this force has to show you and what it has to teach you and how it can transform you. Because truly, until you work with that entity or with that force, whether it's through the form of ritual, invocation, um, or whatever else you're using that entity for, you don't know necessarily exactly how that entity is going to impact you or affect you because you're a unique being. You listening to this, you're a unique soul. And you have a unique energetic structure that is literally different than any other human being, okay? Any other being at that. Now, there's a lot of similarities between certain types of beings, just like the human species, but there are uniquenesses as well, things that are different that are not the same. So you don't know 100% when you're working with a demonic entity how that entity is going to interact with your energetic structure. You have no idea. Okay, And there are going to be some things that are going to be very challenging to process. And from those things that are very challenging to process, there are going to be very valuable things that come to you in return. But those types of challenges and the types of benefits from the values that you can gain from working with that entity could vary on your own energetic structure. It could be different than what the next person is receiving. Although there may be some similarities, as I mentioned, it could be different, and oftentimes it is going to be different, okay? Different with similarities, okay? Now, this is, this is what I really want to make clear. When you're working with dark entities, it's important to recognize that these entities are naturally designed and they're naturally programmed to be catalysts, to be adversaries, okay? to be challengers. These are entities that show you that you are the source within your own right, that you are literally, quote unquote, God in your own right, okay? But the only way you can really learn and learn to understand truly that you are the source in your own right is through breakdown of your sense of self-identity. Breakdown of the person that you think you are now, which is most likely rooted in a mental reality of illusionary beliefs, ideas, and mindsets. So it takes death, death energy. This is why a lot of death is associated with the occult and why a lot of death is specifically associated with the darker sides of the occult. For example, necromancy. Okay. It's because through death of the sense of self-identity, ultimately death of the personal ego with all of the different aspects of your own uh, being, being rooted in illusions within this multiverse that you think are real and they give you that sense of security. They give you that sense of feeling like you're right and you're safe because you know you're right and you can stand on that. It's those things oftentimes that need to be dissolved and need to be destroyed and removed so that you can actually get to the core of your true energetic being and your energetic nature 
which ultimately is the source. You are the everything. And everything is the everything. Everything is the source. You are the source. But the difference is not many people have the awareness truly that they are the source. And not only do they not have the awareness that they're not, uh, that they are the source, but they don't have the alchemical energetic structure to allow them to have the proper real awareness that they are the source. So there really is alchemical physical body and energy field changes that take place to an individual, which ultimately uh, increases the individual's power that does truly become that that does excuse me happen to the individual when they become aware of the source within themselves and the point that i'm trying to make here is that it's the nature of dark entities and demonic forces to break you down on that level so that then you can rebuild yourself as your own god or as the source in your own right becoming an apex predator of the multiverse, which means you become a being that breaks down other beings. You become an entity in your own right that uses the evolutionary purpose of destructive energies to be an adversary on the world around you. And this can even transition on other types of spiritual beings as well, spiritual entities as well. Okay. And obviously, this is some profound information that I'm sharing. And this comes with a lot of uh, psychic self-development and high levels of occult initiation to transform yourself into this type of being. But ultimately, if you're someone who's embracing the demonic and you're embracing dark energies, this is what these energies are pre-programmed to teach you how to do. This is why oftentimes when people get into darker practices, they find themselves getting sucked into a vortex of dark energy where they start invoking all kinds of Ars Goetia demons or all kinds of different arch demonic forces. And all of these forces in some unique individual individualized way are, are slowly and surely teaching the individual through catalytic experiences through challenging initiatory experiences to help the individual realize their own internal power, which ultimately the source of that power is the, the fact that the individual is the source themselves. And once again, through excruciating initiations, you do alchemically change yourself to a degree where you literally realize you are the source and everyone else truly is the source around you. Okay. Once again, some individuals have the alchemical changes to be aware of this, and others do not have the alchemical changes without the awareness. And that is where a difference in power comes into play between some individuals and other individuals. Okay. So when you're working with dark entities, demonic forces, you and this is this is advice that I'm going to give. Now I'm giving this advice because this is what is the evolutionary information that I'm going to give and that I have to give. Okay, I get value for releasing this evolutionary information from the source itself. I get value from this. Now whether you take this information, that's your responsibility, and that's outside of my scope of responsibility. Okay. So what I'm telling you is my personal advice, but does that mean that you need to take it and you need to use it and you need to run with it? No, that's the point. It's your responsibility. So what I'm telling you, whether you accept it or don't accept it, that's completely and 100% up to you. Okay. But if you don't receive what I'm about to tell you, then I can almost guarantee you that you're going to have a rough and a tough time when it comes to working with the darker side of the evolutionary sciences, the dark energy aspects of evolution. Okay? So let's go into it. When you're working with the demonic, 
And when you're working with dark energies, they are not the same as working with angelic en energies. They are not the same as working with positive light entities, okay, like angels or whatever else, okay? The demonic are going to be entities that in their own energetic rights are trying to increase their own power. So what this means is that if you're approaching a demonic entity and you don't have the proper foundational awareness when approaching this demonic entity and you're coming from an already background of light working and, and hanging out with a bunch of light workers or already working with angelic forces, positive entities, oftentimes solar figure entities, Christ archetype entities, then when you're working with this demonic force, you, you want to be aware that you're working with a completely different species of energy than what you're previously used to. And this different species being the dark entity is going to operate and function in a much different way than what you're used to. Okay. So once again, the nature of a demonic force and of a dark entity is to increase its own power, yet simultaneously its evolutionary purpose and its role is to also aid other individuals who are trying to increase their own power and step into the awareness of them being the source within their own rights, okay? So if you don't understand this generalized concept that I'm speaking about right now, and you approach working with demonic forces and dark energies, and you're asking for things, you're hoping for things, you're wishing for things, you're begging for things, you're asking for, uh, you know, hey, can you do this for me? Um, hey, I hope you can do this, you know, for me. Hey, I will do this for you if you can do this for me. These are all ways of approaching a dark energy that are not going to be beneficial for you as the practitioner. And the reason is, is because you're not asserting yourself as a powerful entity in your own right. So just like you may think in your day-to-day -day life, how you may be used to speaking to other people in your environment or friends, social circles, work environments, you name it, you may be used to speaking in a friendly way or in a way where you're saying, hey, can you do this for me? Um, hey, you know, I would appreciate if you did this for me. You know, I need some help right now. Can you please help me because I need help? Um, you know, hey, I'm, I'll do this for you. Can you cover this for me? This may be something you're programmed to behave like, okay? This type of behavior, you may be programmed like this. And, and trust me, I'm no different, okay? I am the same way myself. You know, I behave in a respectful way in my environment and as a human being to another human being to be respectful oftentimes that's how we are going to behave, okay? Oftentimes you're not gonna be like, hey, do this right now. Hey, I need you to get this done right now. Sometimes you do that and oftentimes the people that do that are in managerial positions or supervisor positions or boss-like positions, owner positions, and they need to command things. But what I'm saying is for the average individual, we don't need or you don't need to behave in that way. Okay, and once again, in my daily life, I don't behave that way to individuals in my reality because I don't need to. But when you're when you're entering into the psychic dimension and you're now dealing with entities like the demonic entities, the dark energies, you're dealing with entities that need to, in order to gain the most value from them, in order to gain the most knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and power from these entities, you need to become like them, okay? And what I mean by that is you need to tap into the primal aspects of your being, of your energy field, and you need to command things that you want to happen. Now, when I say command, I don't, nothing about that means disrespectful. Okay, so I'm not someone who thinks you need to be disrespectful to an entity. 
because that why would you, why would you do that? that that really makes no sense and it it just doesn't make sense why would you do that through the principle of as within as without why if you know if you're being disrespectful to an entity i don't believe the entity is going to get offended first of all because they're not humans they don't have that type of perception but it would probably just give them more of a place to mess with you and mess with your mind because you're not understanding as within as without if you're disrespectful to an entity whatever type of entity it is you're just being disrespectful to an aspect of your own being because of a lack of awareness a lack of understanding of yourself and the universe itself so when i say commanding i'm not talking about being disrespectful i'm talking about being assertive i'm talking about saying what it is that you want and what you're trying to get okay and i've done this throughout my evolutionary journey dealing with dark energy dark kabbalistic initiations i noticed something that i did which i believe attributed to my success in regards to clipothic initiations that i'm starting to become aware of in other individuals that lack this capability or lack this awareness okay so what i'm saying is that in regards to my own personal experience and getting results from my personal psychic evolutionary journey whenever i interact or have interacted with these dark entities these demonic forces i never i never approach them hoping that i could get something i never approach them in communicated whether it was telepathically or verbally i never said please do this for me i never said i i'm i i never said i'm weak i'm lost i don't know where i am help me help me please i never said hey i'll do this for you if you do this for me i never did that whenever i approached the dark entities the demonic i always stated with confidence of what i was trying to receive through my intent of why i'm working with the entity so for example i always approached it like i want this give me this help me to get this teach me this give me the awareness to understand and have the wisdom to use this it was always in a way where i was commanding my intent okay and when you do that there is an energetic change that's happening to your body and your energy field where you're starting to take on darker energy you are demonstrating your authority you're demonstrating whether you're aware of it or not that you are the source you are god in your own right you are commanding what you want to receive and through the laws of evolution what you're commanding will eventually become manifest in some form it may not be depending on what it is that you're commanding the exact form that you're looking for but it will manifest in a way that will aid in your evolution to some degree simply because you're solidifying and essentially empowering your intent which as i said on an energetic level and a physical level literally within your body it changes your physical components all the way down to the um bacteria in your body all the way down to the mitochondria all the way up to the energy field and your energy field becomes more dark energy which is if you if you know about energy and you know about the science of energy dark energy negative energy is more potent and more powerful than light energy positive energy that's why it's a lot easier to be negative than it is to be positive so you're changing your energetic structure to be more dark and with that change 
you have more power. And when you're dealing with dark entities, as I mentioned from the beginning, on one end, their initial nature is to increase their power because they're dark entities, they're demonic forces. So they're trying to do the same thing and increase their own power. Yet, the role of demonic and dark entities from an evolutionary perspective is to teach other individuals how to develop their own knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and power to step into the awareness that they are the source in their own right. So by the rules of cosmic law and by the rules of the multiverse, if you're commanding and you're stating what you're trying to receive and what you're trying to gain when working with dark entities, then that entity can much easierly influence you and give you exactly what it is that you're wanting from it, okay? Because you're becoming more like the dark entity. You're becoming more demonic in your own right. And once again, another, another aspect of the nature of dark entities is to once, as I said, um, increase their power. And you're approaching the dark entity, trying to increase your own power. And because you and that dark entity share the same evolutionary purpose, which is to teach the laws and teach the doctrine of how to increase your own evolutionary personal power to become aware of the source, then when you're approaching a demonic force or a dark entity, it will have to do that for you and it will have to do that to you. Okay, because that entity ultimately will gain value and power from the source for teaching you the laws of darker evolutionary science. Just like I'm here right now talking about this information, sharing it freely, well aware that there are going to be individuals that listen to it and take advantage of it and use it for their own evolutionary growth, stepping into the awareness that they are the source and increasing their personal power in that way. I'm doing this for free on my public YouTube channel, yet I'm gaining the evolutionary power and the benefits for doing that from the source itself, okay? And when you're working, as I said, with the demonic and you approach them as, hey, can you please do this for me? Hey, um, I'm struggling right now. I don't know where to go. I need your help. I'm lost. Help me find this, you know, help me find this out, please. I'll do anything. I'll do this for you. I'll, I'll make sure I do this or I change this if you can bring this to me. If you're approaching the demonic like that and these dark entities from that type of perspective, you're approaching them as someone who is clearly communicating. You don't know who you truly are. You don't know what you truly are. And most likely, that dark entity is going to put an initiation in front of you, a challenge in front of you. It's going to utilize destructive energies on you as the person who's unaware of themselves. And this type of individual will most oftentimes, most oftentimes, not 100% all the time, but most oftentimes, be completely destroyed by the catalyst, be, con be completely destroyed by the challenge or the initiation that the dark entity or demonic force placed on them in the first place. Uh, and the reason why is because if you're approaching these dark forces, which are extremely adversarial and will challenge you, nonetheless, no matter how powerful you think you are, they will challenge you because that's how you develop their power. So if you're approaching it and you don't know who you are and you're thinking you're approaching a force that can give you some sort of a quick fix, something that's going to just gift you something out of the astral planes and that it's just going to land in your hands and it's going to help you feel better, if you're thinking that's what's going to take place, then you are most likely going to be that person 
that gets completely destroyed by these dark energies and has no idea why and then starts to turn your back to it and never approach it again which could be very beneficial for those types of people uh, rather than getting deeper into the darker side of the evolutionary sciences just go back to your light working behaviors and your christ archetype okay um but basically the point that i'm trying to say is that these these demonic these dark energies they are forces that are challengers they're initiators they're adversaries which means that they will find the holes in your awareness in your energy field where you're lacking and they will attack those weak spots they will attack those holes and those attacks are where the power is developed it's where the the awareness gets gained it's where the knowledge the wisdom and the understanding resides but if you're already weak and you don't know who you are and you don't have what it takes to at least state what you want in life or what you want to gain from working with this entity or what you're trying to understand what you're trying to become aware of what powers you're trying to develop if you don't have the ability to at least state what it is that you want with some sort of awareness that when you're stating you're setting in your intention if you don't have that then i promise most likely 99 percent of the time you don't have what it takes to work with these dark entities and work with demonic entities because their nature is to pull you into alchemical transformation which ultimately will turn you into a god in your own right with you becoming aware that you are the source okay which once again everyone else is the source but there's a difference in awareness and in correspondence the alchemical energy fields between the people that are aware of it and the people that aren't and this is the knowledge of the darker side of the evolutionary sciences and it will ultimately lead you to that which could be a very long journey very treacherous and oftentimes a journey that most people do not successfully make it through even if people do have the ability to command their intent and things of that nature it's it's a very challenging journey but the point that i'm trying to make is that if you're approaching the demonic and you're asking for things and you don't fully understand or know why you're asking for these things and you don't have the ability yet to understand how dark energy and negative experiences are ultimately the experiences that are what's transforming you and offering you the value although obviously they're uncomfortable they're not exciting they're not fun to go through those are the experiences where you're developing the power if you don't have the ability to work with that dark energy and ultimately transmute it into knowledge wisdom understanding and power you are going to get nowhere with working with these demonic forces and dark energies because once again remember their nature is to destroy okay my nature is to destroy so you know i give out tons of information on my public youtube channel i offer tons of people value from my public youtube channel but maybe and i can assume that a lot of people have no idea what my energy field does and what my energy field is capable of doing okay what i mean by that is that i've transformed myself to such an alchemical degree that my energy field is adversarial in all areas of the multiverse my energy field will challenge you it will test you it will destroy you okay doesn't mean i need to verbally do these things i don't need to say a word to you i can walk past you on the street and next thing you know you're going through the biggest challenge you've ever been through in your entire life okay next thing you know you find your life getting flipped upside down and you have no idea no idea why other than the simple fact that i just simply walked past you influenced you energetically by being in by being around me and then you went on your way and then your life got flipped upside down clipothic experiences start manifesting now to the wise individuals they're going to use that dark energy and allow it to transform them for their evolutionary awareness and evolutionary uh growth okay 
to the weak individuals. They're going to get flipped upside down. They're going to stay upside down and they're going to get destroyed. And whatever path happens as the real black magician or as the real dark occultist, dark entity in my own right, whatever happens, whatever path you go down, I'm gaining value from. Whether you're completely destroyed and you don't make it, you get flipped upside down, you don't figure it out, all that energy you're generating from the pain, the suffering, the torture, from choosing to stay stagnant, that's all coming back to me. Now, if you decide to work with the dark energy and ultimately learn how to understand it, manipulate it into your own awareness, and then use it for your evolutionary growth, I still get value because I get value from the source itself. I get value from evolution for allowing someone the experiences they needed to go into deeper levels of their evolution. And this is the key and this is some of the knowledge of being a real black magician and what real black magicians understand, which a lot do not know. A lot of people that claim to be that claim to be black magicians, they don't they don't even know about this perspective that I'm sharing and this awareness. But I'm telling you, this is the key and these are some of the keys of utilizing dark energy and utilizing it under the scope of its evolutionary purposes. Okay? Now, once again, this is I want to wrap the video up. This is the main point. When you're working with the demonic, you have to realize what you're working with them for. What is your purpose? Do you understand your purpose in working with the demonic? Do you understand how to work with dark energies and ultimately why you're wanting to work with dark energies? Okay, whether it's the sole purpose of just understanding a deeper awareness and knowledge of yourself, or if it's stepping into your own personal evolutionary power. Okay, both of these are self similar, but they're different purposes. Okay, these are examples that would be great examples on why you would want to work with dark energies. But once again, if you're someone who's still in between or more so towards the right in regards to positive energy, the Christ archetype, love and light working, and you go floating into dark energy entities or go floating into the darker side to experiment with it, you want to be aware of what you're doing. Okay, that's really all that I can say. You want to be aware of what you're doing because if you're not doing it properly and you don't know why you're doing it and you don't have the ability to command you don't have the ability to know what you're trying to gain you will get eaten alive similar to an antelope in the jungle going through a lion's den or going across a lion's den that antelope is going to get eaten alive if that lion is in that cave and most likely that lion is going to be somewhere nearby and it's going to spot that antelope because it's easy prey and it's going to eat it alive. Okay, nature literally shows us these types of energetic manifestations through the principle of as above, so below. Nature shows us there are apex predators in nature. We have alligators, crocodiles, lions, rhinos, hippos. You know, I could go on and on. Gorillas, all different types of apex predators masters of the jungle, kings, leaders of the jungle, wolves, wolves move in packs, different types. Yet they all feed on the other animals. And that doesn't mean that the other animals are lower or it doesn't mean that the other animals are not important for evolution. But ultimately, you listening to this get to make the choice on which path you're on. Now, if you're choosing to stay ignorant and you're choosing to stay stagnant in your evolutionary growth, you are naturally going to fall into the path of being a sheep, into the path of being a prey, and there will be a predator, energetically speaking, that will take advantage of that. I'm telling you. And once again, do you need to agree with me? Do you need to believe me? Absolutely not. But just be aware that you heard it here. Okay? So I'm going to leave it there. Ladies and gentlemen, this is going to wrap it up. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up, obviously, why would you not do that? Then come down here and hit the notification bell because I post videos as often as I can and with content like this, 
you absolutely do not want to be missing out. And oftentimes, by hitting the notification bell, you will find that I post videos that are exactly what you're thinking about. So when you hit that bell, you may be thinking about a video and then you get notified when I post and it's the, the title of the video is exactly what it was that you were thinking about simply by hitting the notification bell. So make sure you take advantage of that. Okay. Next thing I want to say is come down here, hit the subscribe button. Okay. If you are consuming my content actively and you are not yet subscribed to my public YouTube channel, then you, yes, you are making a huge mistake. Why? Because you could further be linking into the content, energetically speaking, by subscribing to my YouTube channel. Now, if you don't want the most value energetically uh, from the content that I'm putting out, then forget about it, okay? But if you do, subscribe, okay? Next thing I wanna say is you have my full permission to copy and paste this link and send it out to anybody, family, friends, social media platforms, if you know anyone that would gain value from this content, you have my full permission to send it out to them, okay? My intention is to spread my content like a wildfire and to, cre to increase my empire in the process, which I've been doing and which it has been doing, okay? So go ahead and do that. The next thing I wanna say is if you take your awareness right down here, this is my Instagram account, very easy to type in, J E R underscore four seven seven. Check me out on social media platforms. See what I do over there. Okay. Next thing is if you would like to take advantage of joining within a private Facebook group, yes, private, not for everybody, then you go into the YouTube description, click the arrow drop down, scroll down. You're eventually going to find a post that says private Facebook community. Underneath that post, there is a link. You click that link, follow where the link takes you. Eventually, you can request to join within the private Facebook group, and I will add you in. Now, within this private Facebook group, there are about 450 members that are active on a daily basis, and I will tell you, there is extremely valuable content and information that people are posting within this private Facebook community, and this is stuff that I've been able to, to see and use myself. Okay, so if you want to take advantage of that, you know exactly where to go. We'll leave it there. Now, I'm going to take your awareness to the most important link within the entirety of the YouTube description. Okay, click the little arrow drop down, YouTube description. First link at the very top. You obviously can't miss it. It's the first link. It says my Patreon. Okay, on my Patreon, I have an entire vault of exclusive occult content. Okay. None of this content is on my public YouTube channel. And that is for many different reasons. Okay. Many different reasons. I have content that's in the range of live streams, blog posts, and videos that are very similar to this one, except they're all more advanced and much more personal. Okay. Then as you move into tier three and up, you're gaining access to an entire magic training course, which I feel like, and I think would be absolutely valuable, especially if you're a beginner occultist and you're looking for a structured format to follow to start developing your psychic capabilities. Okay, that would be for tier three and up. Then as you move into tier four, which is the highest tier, you're gaining access to what's called the Universe B Vampire Service. Okay, now this is a service, which is the only service that I perform, which happens on the 29th of every single month that has a 29th, 29 because two plus nine equals 11, which is the 11th sphere on the Kabbalistic tree, which represents death, 100% manifestation. And what I do is I perform a ritual, an advanced ritual, on the participants of that service to permanently, energetically change their energy fields, okay? Specifically, changing their energy field to be more so what I call universe be dominant, okay? Which means the individual has an ability to exist within the darker areas of the multiverse without being harmed by them, but rather gaining knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and power from them instead, okay? It also gives the individual an ability to be more receptive to their unconscious and subconscious mind, which is feminine in nature, and it gives the individual an ability to pull in 
dark energy and chaos in their environment, suck it in, universe be vampire service, and then transmute it into their own power and evolutionary potential. Okay, this is the most popular tier on the Patreon. With that being said, I'm going to leave it there. You know where to go. First link in the YouTube description, fourth tier. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I want to give a special shout out to all of you who are Patreon members specifically. Okay, huge shout out to all of you for taking your knowledge, your practices, and your studies to that other side. Huge shout out. Okay. Now, the second link in the YouTube description is where you can book a tarot card reading with me, okay? This is not a tarot card reading that you've ever received before. I can almost guarantee that. The reason is, is because I'm a professional cultist who understands the Kabbalistic tree way more than the average individual, okay? So what that means is I can literally pinpoint what you're going through in the present moment, what you're feeling and experiencing all in the present moment based on where you're placed on that Kabbalistic structure. Then I can tell you what you're going to be experiencing and feeling and going through in your near and your long-term future based on where you're going to be traveling through the Kabbalistic tree. Okay, I've done well over 500 readings at this point. I get tons of valuable feedback. I do a reading every single day. Matter of fact, after this video, I'm going to be doing a reading and I'm going to leave it there. If that's something that you want to take advantage of, second link below. Okay. Now, as you move into the third link below, this is where you can become a YouTube member. Okay. Now, as you're becoming a YouTube member, you're gaining access to a bunch of benefits. You have a badge next to your name. That's a cult in its nature. You're entering into the YouTube community with all the other YouTube members. Okay. You get special shout outs whenever I do live streams. And you also have the ability to leave a question when I do live streams that appears in the same format as a super chat every single month that you, you are a member, okay? But most importantly, as soon as you become a YouTube member, you gain access to what I call the Psychic Warfare Emoji Program, okay? So what this means is that as soon as you become a YouTube member, you're gaining access to a sequence of emojis that I've created myself based on occult principles that can be used in a certain configuration and then you link in the name of a target, you hit enter, super simple, and it will actually manifest through the metaverse and then into the multiverse and cause an energetic effect to the target that you linked in, okay? This is the most simple form of utilizing psychic warfare, okay? And it's utilized through the YouTube emoji platform. Now, there are well over a thousand posts where individuals are taking advantage of the Psychic Warfare program, as well as right now in this moment, there are individuals either thinking about using it and are about to very soon here, or individuals that are currently using it right now. It's active daily, okay, throughout the day is what I'm saying. So if you want to take advantage of any of these benefits, then you know where to go. Click the third link, hit join become a YouTube member. We'll leave it there. Now, the last link in the YouTube description, this is for tier, or excuse me, this is the fourth link in the YouTube description, okay? This is for the EMF incense sticks, which the one behind me is actually, the one behind me is out, and that makes sense because we've pretty much roughly been going for about an hour. Um, so these are long-lasting incense sticks, okay? Uh, they smell amazing. I put the scent that goes in them, which is based on two primary scents, which is correlated to a Kabbalistic formula to further give access to the 11th sphere on the tree known as death, which once again represents 100% manifestation, okay? As well as the fact that one of the scents on the stick is an actual essential oil, which helps to give further access to the unconscious and the subconscious mind. And it makes the stick smell absolutely amazing. Then at a base level where the sticks soak, I put in 11 drops of a real monatomic gold. And this is what gives them their unique EMF properties. Okay, no one else is doing this. And then on top of that, they're sitting with the liquid for 24 hours. And at that base level, there's real quartz crystals and real citrine, uh, citrine quartz crystals that sit with them and charge them on that level. Okay, so these are literally the most powerful incense sticks that you could possibly get your hands on. Okay, and they are pre packaged, ready to go. 
And I've got tons of valuable feedback from individuals who have already purchased their bundles and have let me know how much they're enjoying them. So if you want to take advantage of getting your hands on some as well, the faster you place your order, the quicker I can have them shipped out to you. It's going to be the fourth link in the YouTube description. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all have an amazing rest of the day or night, wherever you are. And I will see you in the near future. Peace.